Does the Magicycle Cruiser hold up under a harsh environment? Let me show you what this bike looks like after over 200 miles on the beach. Stay tuned. It's time for an update on my review of the Magicycle Fat Tire Beach Cruiser. But instead of doing it out here where it's all sandy and nasty and I think I see I have a fish on, well, I'm gonna wait till I get back home and then we'll go through feature by feature on the pros and cons. First thing I need to point out is I did not get this bike for free and I've ridden it hard in a harsh environment. I use it primarily for surf fishing and my typical surf fishing trip is around five miles long. Well, I checked the odometer and I've logged in over 200 miles on the surf and that's riding in damp sand with wind blowing and all that kind of stuff. So how is this held up? Is it a rust bucket? Is it still good? Well, let's dig in. There are a couple of nits I have that I wish they'd improve on a future model. Let's look at rust first. The part of the bike that's going to be impacted by rust the most are the chain, the cartridge, and the brake rotors. Well, let's take a deep dive into those three components. This chain doesn't have a speck of rust on it. It's nice and clean, and the cartridge is in a similar condition. No issues at all. Now, riding on the beach, this does get uh, covered in sand, and so I do need to clean this off every time I come back from the beach. And all I've been doing is hosing it off, and maybe every five to ten trips, I'll get out the brush and I'll go through and re-lubricate it. But this is fine. Let's go check the rotor. Just like the chain, the rotor is clean and rust-free. No problems on the brakes. They've been holding up. No problem on wear on the brake pads. I haven't had to tune the brakes at all since I got this bike. The only issue I've had riding this thing in a sandy environment was one day I forgot to bring my cheap cutting board to put under the kickstand to keep the bike from falling over. And sure enough, it fell over and some sand got into this brake cable. And I had to disconnect it from the top and the bottom of my rear wheel and work it around with lubrication to get it to work smoothly again. But you can see it's just fine now. So if you're riding on the beach and put your kickstand down, take something with you to support that kickstand. I have to say the feature that makes me absolutely love this bike is the fact that it has seven levels of power assist that I can customize. I can put the amount of pedal assist, the amount of power into each of those levels. And I found that that makes this bike easier to ride than any of the other bikes that I've received for free and have done reviews on. That is an absolutely critical feature and quite frankly, I don't think I'd pay for another bike that didn't have that opportunity to do that customization. However, there is a negative with this display in that it's color and you cannot read it if you're wearing polarized glasses. I find that if I really want to see what's on here, I've got to raise my glasses up and use my bare eyeballs to read what's on here. Another negative about this bike is the way the battery is attached. Let me show you. The first negative is the rubber cover that protects the battery charging port. I have to put a piece of tape on here because the rubber cover that came with this tends to fall off. Not a big deal because I'm not a big one on what things look like. The other issue with the battery is all the charging components are down here at the bottom. And let me show you why that could be an issue. The hookups for the battery are all down here at the bottom which means that if there's any dampness or rain, it's gonna flow down here and could potentially cause this to rust. However, you can see that after over 200 miles on the beach, everything is clean and bright, and I haven't had that problem. So what about range and battery power? Well, I haven't had any kind of an issue with that, and I doubt anyone who uses it for surf fishing would as well. Your typical trip is gonna be five to 10 miles, and this thing has plenty of power to deal with that. In fact, I only charge it maybe every third or fourth trip because if you pedal, you really don't use much of the battery at all. 
great feature. Quick and dirty, a quick summation. This thing is stood up in a saltwater environment. No issue at all with sand and salt water, as long as I do the appropriate maintenance that a thinking person would do anyway. This is a bike that I'm certainly gonna keep, and I've reviewed a lot of bikes and received many of them for free, and I've basically just given them away to my friends who are also veterans, like I am. I don't sell these things. I don't think that's right. If you have experience with the Magicycle, throw it in the comments below. Thanks.